Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon and Booze. It's Monday. It is Oddity Day. And those of you who've been following the channel have known that there's been some changes coming around. Uh, some of our videos are still having some intros. Some are not having intros. I'm taking suggestions and um, uh, comments from you guys on how to change things. And so there will be some changes coming up that you'll notice mostly on the Tuesday, Thursday whiskey episodes. I uh, don't know any um, updates on Andy when he will be coming back. He did change job and so it's much more difficult for him to come up and record in a manner that is convenient for all of us. So uh, I'm not saying that he's no longer with us. I'm just saying that don't know when he'll be back. But uh, hopefully we stay consistent enough that you still enjoy uh, the episodes. We don't know unless you hit that like, so make sure you hit that like. Also, a lot of you aren't um, subscribed that watch the videos, so make sure you subscribe. And I uh, hope that uh, we are doing what you want us to do. Leave those comments. So today we're going to be looking at another Sipsmith Gin. This is from that triple pack that I picked up in the UK not too long ago. And I really enjoy the Sipsmith. Uh, most people know Sipsmith through their mixers whether it's for a uh, Moscow Mule or um, a Mai Tai or whatever, but they do a series of gins. I think that's where they became more famous before the mixers. So this is the this Sipsmith VJOP. Not sure what J means, but V, very, and old pale gin, I don't know what J means, and I really do apologize for that. I should have looked that up. Um, yeah, sorry, but this is from the Sipsmith uh, Distillery. It's a gin. It's 57.7%. That's 115.4 proof. I don't think I've ever had a gin that strong. And I had to take a double, triple take on this because gin in the UK, and this is a UK company, should be between 25 and 35%. And I believe that the UK classifies gin as no less than 30%. So how this got to be 57.7%, I don't know. There is no age statement on it as well. So I'm really kind of in the dark about this percentage. Hmm. Maybe you guys can leave some comments before. And it may have everything to do with that J. All right, let's go ahead and take a aroma. Now it doesn't smell like a very strong percentage. Feels very well balanced a mellow uh, botanicals, there's that juniper, hints of citrus, probably orange, but very mellow, little floral, juniper, hints of black pepper, and that orange. Wow. You can taste the proof on that. That is some high proof, 115. It's got spiciness up front all the way back. Uh, you get in that strong juniper, not as much of the citrus, I don't feel like, but a little bit more of that floral, some of that black pepper, but by God, this is some great stuff. That is spectacular. If we had a rating for this, this would be a five. This is some of the best gin, if not the best gin I've ever had. Wow. I like it, but it is high proof. Woo -hoo. Could probably light a torch and fire come out. Uh, yeah, it's pretty darn good, but um, I would really love to know what you guys think. Have you had this before? I've only had this 300 mil, 200 mil bottle. I am definitely going to be looking for this on the uh, the shelf as a full 350 or 750 because this stuff is spectacular. Can't wait for my wife to try this. But tell us what you think. Make sure you do hit that like and subscribe. It means a lot to us. As I said, there's lots of changes coming. I'm working on merchandise. So uh, the old merchandise is still up. You can get shirts and cell phone covers and all that stuff. But I'm working on a new merchandise um, site. Uh, just a little bit more convenient for you guys. 
And again, we do have whiskeys coming up this week, Tuesday and Thursdays, a coffee on Friday and a cocktail, a coffee on Wednesday, a cocktail on Friday. And we're getting into the Christmas season, so the holiday season. So tell us what your favorite holiday cocktail is, and we'll see about trying that. All right. Oh, for those of you that have been questioning, we did do an advent calendar this year, but because of some travel issues, I was in uh, Cozumel and then back to work and we got some other things going on. I'm not making videos of them, but I hope you are enjoying your advent calendar. If you have one, uh, I might do a follow up video YouTube short about our advent calendar, but there won't be daily videos as you've already noticed. All right, hopefully you have a great Monday. This stuff is definitely worth a try. I love it. It's probably the best gin I've ever had. Tell us what you think, and we'll see you on Tuesday for whiskey. Cheers.